the market and therefore YouTube is getting flooded with different budget wireless mic systems. And after a recent review I did on one of them, I thought I'm not going to review these systems anymore because usually they're not really up to my standard and usually they're lacking too much in certain areas. But the fact that you're watching this video right now means that I think the Boya Link A2 is worth reviewing. So why is that? Well, let's talk about it. Let's first talk about the price. This kit comes in at around $100, similar to other budget wireless mic kits. And for that, you get one receiver, two transmitters, two wind muffs with a nice twist and lock system, a charging cable, and three adapters. A 3.5 millimeter adapter, a USB-C adapter and a lightning adapter, all of which comes in a little pouch. The transmitters and receivers are super small and light. The transmitters have a built-in mic, a power or mute button, and volume or noise reduction buttons when you press and hold them. The receiver has a power button and a switch to switch it from mono to stereo. So on the back of the receiver, Boya did something interesting. This is where the different adapters connect to the receiver. The adapter slides in and locks with this little locking mechanism. This eliminates the chance of the adapter coming loose like with some other systems. I think this is a clever design. And because the transmitter is so small and light, it's perfectly fine to plug it directly into your phone, for example. And to me, this is where this Boya system is really designed for. It's designed to use it with a phone or a tablet. So being as this channel mainly evolves around Lumix mirrorless cameras, I'm shooting on the GA6 by the way, you may ask yourself, why are you reviewing this system? Well, I find myself using my iPhone and iPad more and more, not to record video with, but to record my audio with. Today's smartphones and tablets are perfectly capable audio recorders for outdoor talking head, uh, vlogging style content. The way I'm using it right now is with the Tentacle Recorder app. The Boya Link receiver is plugged into my phone and I'm recording with the Tentacle Recorder app that takes time code from my Tentacle Sync E that's connected to my GA6. So I can easily sync it up in post with basically one click of a button. This way I can record my spoken word audio and I can have a shotgun mic on top of the camera as well for backup audio or ambient sound. And something that stands out to me with this Boya system that I haven't really seen with other systems so far is that it allows for pass-through charging. It's got a USB-C port and if you plug in a charger it will charge the phone at the same time uh, while it's in use. I think that's a great feature. So what do I think about the audio quality? Well, it's not the best in its class, but it gets the job done. As with most budget wireless systems, the noise cancelling feature is quite aggressive, but it does do a good job of cancelling noise. A way to combat the somewhat robotic and unnatural sound of uh, noise reduction is to mix in some ambient sound. And I was going to say, well, you can put the other transmitter somewhere else, uh, and have that record some ambient sound but that idea doesn't work because if you turn on noise reduction on this transmitter the other transmitter also turns on noise reduction so there goes that idea so you can't do it with the same system at the same time but you can record some ambient noise later and mix that in with your uh, with your spoken word audio this way you get the benefits of intelligible spoken word because of the noise reduction while still getting a sense of what the surroundings are supposed to sound like and then it becomes a bit more natural and you have full control over that in post as well as with any system the boya link a2 is also not perfect when i first received it from boya and went through the manual it looked like they forgot to send me the charging case the receiver and transmitters also have electrical contacts that suggest the possibility of charging the units in a case. However, I contacted Boya and they told me 
that a charging case isn't part of this kit to keep the price down. I find this a bit strange to be honest. It's in the manual and the electrical contacts are there. Besides, for the price point, I think it actually should be included. Another thing is the 3.5 mm adapter. If you want to use this receiver with a mirrorless camera that's in a cage, there's a fair chance that it won't fit. To be fair, this kit is aimed at people who use it with their phones or tablets, but I think if you include such an adapter, make sure it's actually usable on every camera. I like that it's so lightweight and small. I appreciate the locking design of the adapters and pass through for charging. For a budget wireless system aimed at people who use it with their phones or tablets to record their audio, I think it's a decent system. It doesn't give you top of the line audio quality, but it gets the job done well. So what do you think? Was this Boyalink A2 worth reviewing? Is it good enough? Let's give them our opinion so that they can improve and be competitive. After all, that's what we want as consumers, right? If you're interested in a system with internal recording, you can watch this video. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and maybe hit that notification bell. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.